this is our bar, this is in Caracas too. This is like a long line, maybe to buy only uh, toilet paper, maybe to buy only uh, oil, maybe to buy only like sugar. It's the uh, goods of the first necessity. It's like uh, baby milk, milk for the baby, something like that for babies. So these people need to make like five hours of line. It's like a long line to enter in the place. And uh, it's like for everything. It's not only for food, it's too for medicines, it's too for... The, it's a huge, huge problem. And it's not only the poor people, everybody. If you want, if you really wants to buy something, if you want to buy meat, if you want to meet to have a barbecue with your friends, you need to make like three hours or four hours of line to buy the meat. And you don't have the security if you will find the real meat or no, because maybe uh, sells really fast. So it's like really, really, really miss for me it's really miserable. This is other thing like it's really common. The numbers. It's like the people they have only 500 uh, um, packages of sugar, so they will sell one or two for each person. So they need to put numbers in their hands to the people who is in the line, uh, only to give this. If you are in the first 500 of 300, you will you will receive two, but you need to wait. You will receive two packets of sugar. So, looks like, I don't know, for me that looks like Africa or looks like uh, I know, IT, something like that, but happened in the country with the largest supplies of oil in a multi-millionaire country. Is this happened right now? All other images, like when, when the, the products come to the market, it's like one people call to other and say, hey, we have uh, sugar right now in this market, you need to come. So the people, if they are working or something, they stop to work and they say in the work, hey, in this market, in this, like, in Burjian market, uh, uh, a sugar arrived. So the people lit literally stop to work and go to the market to buy two packs of sugar. Maybe four, if the market say only four. Oh, this is milk too, milk. Um, this is corn to 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 make the the food. So all these maybe this the the regular price. The government have a control of the price of the products. So you can find this if I tell you for one dollar each one in the market. But if you can't make a line because you are working or something. You need to buy like uh, this, the same thing, but for maybe 50 or 60 dollars. So the price is really, really an illegal in the street. So the price is really, really high, and uh, is, is the is the situation. To try to explain about the uh, the iPhone and how why it's so expensive, why the people need. It's because we have something, it's the black dollar. It's the black, it's, the, it's not official dollar. That is the people, that the government don't sell the dollars. So it's like we have a black market. It's the, the which the people control. Like if you want to buy dollars, you need to go to this black market and you need to buy. It's not a, uh, it's not a place like a, a store or something. It's like, a, community of people who do you know you need to you have three hundred dollars and you want to sell you ask to a friend if you know somewhere and they say yeah the price right now is six hundred fifty that this was in the first week of July and the price of each uh, American dollar is six hundred uh, maybe this moment was six hundred twenty bolivars okay this is the currency of my country so Makes sense if you look this from January to October in the 2014 when the oil, the price of the oil goes down. The all these, all the problems come to my country. So it makes sense that all the price of the each 
uh, Bolivar's, the currency of my country goes really, really, really high. For that reason, it's like you can't, you need to uh, wait five years to buy an iPhone 6. Right now, this is the first, I say this is the first of July, the first week of July, it's 620, but right now it's in 688. So in three weeks, four weeks, uh, it's 688 bolivars for each American dollar. The the control, the official value of the of the of the bolivar, this DSV BF, is like 12. Uh, uh, which each each American dollar 12.5 uh, bolivars. So this is the difference from 12.5 bolivars to 680. So you can you can imagine the. <laughs> The real difference. The, the government they make business with this price because they can win a lot of money, but it's the same as damage to the country. So I have a video. Everybody knows about the big Mac. Uh, this is actually this is not fries. This looks like fries, but for the same problem of the of the control of the currency of the dollars. Uh, my government don't uh, don't pay to McDonald's, don't, don't permit like McDonald's in Venezuela change, and they can't uh, buy potato like uh, like uh, potato fries. So this is not fries. This is like yuca. Yuca is like uh, similar to potato, but it's a little bit more strong. So we don't have potato fries, and not anymore. Like like in six months ago in Venezuela. So this was a big notice. But this was a journalist from England. He went to Venezuela to try and to, and not only to try McDonald's, to talk about all the aspects of the economic disaster. But this, this thing, I think, uh, they can, you can uh, appreciate the real thing, what I try to explain to you. In So it's that if you if you have dollars in, in the, the life is really cheap, you can buy a Big Mac for only if you, you change in the black market that this one Big Mac is one the, it, you say one fifty cents dollars American dollars, but if you don't have American dollars, it's like twenty uh, fifty five dollars each Big Mac. So I think that explain really well something. So I talk about the reasons why the government in my country needs to change 
Uh, five, first for the violence deaths, second for the economic disaster, and third one for the miserable life of the citizens. What I, I think is like uh, this would change.